The issue of Scottish independence is back in the headlines. The First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, has issued a warning to the UK. She has sought an independence referendum at the earliest. What happened the last time such a referendum was held? Why has the issue surfaced yet again? And will the UK hold another referendum? This and more in our next report. The United Kingdom is still grappling with the impact of Brexit. And this message from Scotland might add to the worries of the British government. I think the referendum, for a whole variety of reasons, should be in the earlier part of the next parliament. I'm not going to sit here right now. I intend to, to say more about this before the election in our manifesto. First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon. This was Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister of Scotland, who has issued an independence warning to the UK. Sturgeon has said that a Scottish independence referendum should take place as soon as the British Parliament's next term begins in 2021. The referendum could further break the UK apart and Scotland is unlikely to give in this time. As we come out of that pandemic, and this will be true of you know, all countries, but there are particular aspects of this in Scotland's case, there are questions all of us have to ask. What kind of countries, societies do we want to be as we emerge from the pandemic? The United Kingdom consists of England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. The central government is based in London, while each country has a degree of political autonomy to deal with domestic affairs. They also have a unique culture, language and flag. In recent years, Scotland has been pushing for independence from this union. In 2014, it even held a referendum to leave the UK. I'm fed up with the Westminster government because of the poverty and all that, running about the areas. So that's how I'm voting yes. But the campaign fell flat. 55% of the Scottish population rejected the idea. It has been six years since the vote was held. And the demand for independence has once again become the dominant issue in Scottish politics. A number of recent polls have suggested rising support for Scottish independence. A poll held by Ipsos Mori in October showed 58% of Scots in favour of a breakaway while only 42% were in favour of staying in the Union. This is the biggest lead in a poll ever recorded for the pro-independence side. So what explains this support? Observers say it has a lot to do with the rising popularity of Nicola Sturgeon. Since health is a devolved issue in the UK, Sturgeon has been taking most of the big decisions on how to respond to the pandemic. She has been the face of Scotland's response. And many Scots believe she has done a better job than Boris Johnson in England. A lifelong believer and campaigner for advocate for independence. But right now, I'm also the First Minister of Scotland and my responsibility is to the health and the well-being of the, the country in trying to steer it through a pandemic and I'm very focused on that. In six months from now, Scotland will head to the polls. The election to the Scottish Parliament is expected to take place in May. The Scottish National Party led by Nicola Sturgeon is expected to perform strongly. Sturgeon's game plan is to use the election victory as a mandate for another independence referendum. Presented by our scientists, Suggests that without... The groundwork has begun. A full-fledged campaign will follow soon. But will the UK government agree 
to another referendum? There is no easy answer to this question. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.